Future thinking refers to the ability to mentally time travel into the future and pre-experience an event. It is a uniquely human characteristic and a fundamental function of the human brain. However, it's largely taken for granted. Research has suggested that nearly 30% of our daily functioning requires future-oriented thoughts. Being able to mentally time travel into the future allows an individual to work through hypothetical scenarios to eventually reach the best outcome. For example, anticipating what will happen on a first date. Will he pay? Won't he pay? What happens if he doesn't pay? Maybe I'll bring more wallet, just in case. And a leading neuroscientist, such as Daniel Schachter from Harvard University, have argued that the structure of the brain is orchestrated to support the human ability to imagine future events, this allowing us to see beyond the day to day. But the illicit drug using population is a particular interest of mine because through their behaviour, it suggests that they don't think beyond the day to day. Research demonstrates that various drug using populations have impairments in cognitive processes that overlap with future thinking, such as decision making, planning and memory. As a result, it is logical to anticipate that drug users will also demonstrate an impairment in future thinking. However, there is no published study yet on future thinking in substance users. The initial study of my PhD assessed a group of short-term cannabis users on future thinking ability and made comparisons to a group that had never used drugs before. The method that I used is referred to as a autobiographical interview. It is considered a gold standard measure and it is used widely within the psychology and neuroscience literature. Now if I draw your attention to the first two uh, bars of my graph, you can see that there is no significant difference between the cannabis users and the comparison group on the future thinking task. However, for my second study, I'm testing a group of long-term heroin users. And you can see from the second pair of bars on the graph that preliminary results indicate this drug using population is, has a significant impairment in future thinking. Now in clinical practice, many popular relapse prevention strategies place a significant demand on this population to think about and work through future scenarios that could pose a threat to their abstinence. The impairment in future thinking in long-term users, which is shown in my, in my findings, may help to explain why these individuals appear so resistant to treatment. Or it could also explain why relapse prevention strategies report relatively low um, success rates. So, if we want to improve the effectiveness of these interventions, we must factor in the, the future thinking limitations of this group because future thinking difficulties shouldn't mean that long-term drug users can't have a better future. Thank you.